Good morning guys, um, I'm about ready to go now, uh, just waiting on Ricardo to come by because uh, I've packed the kayak away and I've got to get water, gas, uh, some more onions, um, a, few, a few tidier things. So um, my plan is to give you a quick boat tour and uh, talk about the kind of stuff that I'm going to be doing to get out of here, or at least the current plan, you know it might change if, uh, depending on the situation. But uh, I mean, I might not even leave today, you know, but I don't see uh, why not. I'm just going to see how everything goes. I want to leave before two if possible, so I've got some daylight to get clear of the land and um, make check all the rigging and everything. So yeah, I shall uh, give you a quick tour now. So, my berth's got its lead cloth up. That's screwed in at the bottom there. And... Uh, there's such have to tidy up. Well, I tidied up the shelf with just important things in there. I've got to do a bit more tidying up here and put the laptop away, obviously, before I actually go in out to sea. I decided I'll just put the laptop up here. I've put lots of soft, light stuff up here. So, um, I didn't clean the oven yet. I've run out of water after cleaning the kayak, so I'll just have to do that at sea. But everything else here is clean and stowed. I've got a bungee there to help keep things from sliding around. Uh, that's the icebox, there's the chorizo and parmesan there. So, here's some of the bottles, but there's another 20 bottles down in this deep bilge here. And uh, that's what I've got to go get with Ricardo. Let's use the torch, hey? It's uh, a bit cloudy today, but that's fine. Cleaned all my shelf and everything. Put a picture of my daughter up there. Yeah, I cleaned that shelf, put some important things there. Uh, they kept some of those things can fall out, but there's nothing heavy in there, so that's okay. All my nice clean clothes. Clean bedding. And here we have tools. There's more tools back here in the salon. So I put this piece of sailcloth up there to catch any water that comes down and I think once I'm at sea I'll put this bucket with all my crockery that I'm going to be using um, I'll put it here so if any water does come in or come down there and go down there because uh, downwind I should be fine but if something goes wrong with the autopilot and I start going upwind then I don't want to get a whole load of water through the, into, through the hatch uh, in the process, or at least if it does come through the hatch, I don't want it to soak all the cushions. So that should work fine. Um, kayak is stowed down here. If I had to, I'd rather use the kayak than the life raft in an emergency given the age of the life raft and the fact that I haven't serviced it. Um, so I've put everything for the kayak in an easily, be, easily reachable position. Um, I've got to get new gas and that's going to be secured onto the rail there a bit better. The battery's got to go back. But here you see all the ropes nicely arranged and ready to go. Uh, there'll be plenty of time at sea to go into detail about uh, what I've done with that. These temporary windows I made for there are in place. Maybe I'll put a bit of duct tape over the top, stopping any drips coming inside. I didn't want to even seek a flex in them in because they're just temporary. But uh, I could do a little bit of this along the top. We'll see how it goes. Then out on deck, just a little bit of rain, it's a bit windy. I put my face right next to the camera so hopefully you can still hear me. There's a life raft, it's an old suitcase, that's how I got it. I haven't, yeah, it's there. Uh, uh, everything's stowed, stowed away nicely in there. Spare mooring lines. And uh, oh, yeah, the rigging. Everything nice and neat and ready to go. Four sheets. The fake leather I use on this fender is squeaky so I know I'm going to want to deal with that but it'll be easier when the sails raised to do that so I'll tuck a bit of uh, real leather I've got left there or a bit of sombrella or something uh, but every, uh, this upper one for the yard is um, dinghy PVC 
and that's not quite as bad at squeaking. But again, we'll see how it goes. Main point of uh, the fendering, at least the covers that I've chosen for the fenders, the fenders themselves are pool, pool noodles. Um, it's just to protect the pool noodle. If uh, it gets damaged, I'll put a layer of leather over there. I'm sure I can find leather in Dominica. I just didn't find anything here. So, my plan is to um, let out my anchor line. I've got to retrieve one anchor from over there, and then I've got a line onto a mooring block over here. So, um, I don't care about that line, it can stay here. Um, so, I've got to retrieve that anchor let myself out on the main anchor until I'm in line or slightly past Aspia here, German steel boat, and I can go onto that white uh, buoy down there. So I'm going to get out of the wind now so it doesn't mess up the sound, but uh, yeah. So go onto that white buoy down there, and uh, then I can sail right down there. There's the boat that was right at the end is gone now, so that's made things a lot easier. Hopefully, yes, yeah, trying to focus on the flag, not down there, isn't it? There we go. But that turn is only 45 degrees or so. The only problem is if we get in changeable gusts, which will make it a little bit more difficult. But I have planned for that, so we can kedge if it's really bad. Um, Ricardo's going to help me and. Um, so yeah, I'll go back and then I'll hang around, hang my stern on that little white buoy there. So I'm facing with the stern to the wind. And then I can just release a temporary, I'll put a, get Ricardo to put a line there and I'll just release that line and he can retrieve it later. Um, and whilst I'm hanging on that, I can uh, retrieve the main anchor, which is in water too shallow for me to uh, retrieve from the ship. So I can retrieve the main anchor and stow that, and then once everything's ready, I can just release this line on the white buoy that will attach to the stern, and off I go. So, uh, we'll have fendering on both sides, and uh, I'll have to take these solar panels up. Obviously I'm worried that uh, there'll be some strong gust from the opposite direction, or we won't get enough hull speed quickly enough to be able to control the boat. But that's why Ricardo's going to be alongside, also giving me a little bit of a push. Just uh, because under one and a half knots, I can't really control the ship that well with a rudder. So yeah, these will be stowed upwards. It's uh, not too much of a pain to do that. It's not going to be their permanent position, but it's actually the best position for sea, I felt. And I tilted them outwards to try and get make a bit more sun um, from... Uh, maybe I could tilt them all the way, way down, actually, at sea. But I'm going downwind, I'm not going to be healing that much, so I think this is better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to release this pretty much unedited, but as you understand, I've got a lot of work to do. So uh, I'll uh, be doing a live stream uh, if and when I leave today, which around 2 o'clock my time, which is GMT plus 1. Hopefully a little bit before then. Uh, I'll probably do it on YouTube. And you'll be able to watch it afterwards as well. It's, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, um, it gets saved to my channel. Okay, bye-bye guys. I'll see you later.